Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys five facts about the Tundra that every YouTube channel out there got it wrong. Literally, I'm talking about I haven't seen a YouTube channel that got those things, five things about the Tundra that got them correctly. I don't know where they get the information. It's And I'm surprised how many people believe that false information without questioning. So, first thing on the list is people say wrong about engine oil filter there is this debate going on you know so but what it does it really has 5746 had cartridge 3.5 has canister type let me show you let me show you from toyota service manual and i will show you i'll, I'll give you so much proof you can see on the screen model year 2022 f not f v35a the engine and some of the details and what does it show in here do you see? Do you see a cartridge or do you see a canister? That's a canister. That's a canister type oil filter. It's not a cartridge. Cartridge shown is different. There is another a good view. What do you see? Of course it's a canister. Here. Here. 2022 Toyota Tundra. Actually eBay has it. eBay has a filter for sale. If you search for this number here that is correct if you search for this number you will see that it's the same filter shared with a Lexus LS 500 twin turbo because this engine on Tundra it's it's 99% copy of that sedan's engine it's here they got the run run number instead of 36 that should be 35 but it's a it's right there you see that's a filter it's not a, uh, see, that's a canister type. It's not a cartridge. This is cartridge. You see right here? This is cartridge type. This is what 5.7 has. And if we scroll down, it says here, this part is compatible with the five vehicles matching 2022 Toyota Tundra. Then, the numbers. Here at the bottom, it says already this filter. This is the oil filter for 20. 22 Toyota Tundra. This fits any Toyota Lexus application with V35A motor. So, so now we know the fact about the filter that it is a canister type. It's not cartridge type like it's shown here. Here is another picture that I found online. The Toyota 3.5 uh, Tundra's engine. As you can see, there's a turbo here. You can see clearly this is a canister type filter. Anyone who claims it has a something else than canister, they just will. They just plainly wrong. So next item, item number two. So we know I'm going to give you five things. Uh, here is another thing that people get it wrong. Toyota Tundra. I'm going to scroll down. Has two injectors. So let's look at these numbers. Toyota Tundra has two injectors per cylinder. The four DS four. I'm sorry. D4ST technology, direct injection and port injection system. A lot of people get it wrong. They say it has only direct injection. No. Toyota has few vehicles with just direct injection. They do. Uh, third item. Third very important item that a lot of people get it wrong. People claim that Toyota Tundra twin turbo torque stays flat all the way till the red line that's completely false information completely false information i want you to see v35 vts engine six cylinder this is toyota horsepower horsepower on this engine varies from the trim level if it's just a sr where is it uh, oh if it's just a sr grade you get 358 horsepower at 52. if it's not sr grade and about 389 so that's a big big jump big difference however when it comes to torque i want you guys to notice torque starts either at 2000 and goes to 4000 or at 2400 goes to 2600 this number 479 it does not stay till the red line a lot of people claim that it's it's a flat torque and it stays to the red line it doesn't stay after 2600 or after 4000 it drops down it starts dropping up 
from 2,000 to 4,000, and after 4,000, it's dropping. You know, you're getting less torque, but you're getting more horsepower because horsepower peak at 5,200. So this is what Toyota has right now. This is, as you can see, 2022 Toyota Tundra. You can read the text. I'm not going to go into much details. This is the radiator for the coolant. This is the small oil cooler assembly. If you look at the number two here and number two here, this is for transmission fluid. What Toyota did, Toyota had this liquid-to-liquid -liquid cooler, heat exchanger, oil cooler assembly, whatever you want to call it, on the side of the transmission on 5.7. What they did, <coughs> they took it from here, of course, the different transmission, and now put it here next to the radiator. Why, I do not know. So what happened to them? transmission cooler that 5.7 had. No, it doesn't have it. They removed it. They just took it from transmission, put it next to the radiator. This is the new transmission cooler. So when Toyota says that there's a transmission cooler, they're referring to this pack that same size, it probably means same part number as previous generation had. This is the transmission cooler. A lot of people claim it has external transmission cooler. It doesn't have external transmission cooler. This is it. Something else I want you guys to know. Toyota does not have electric cooling fans. It's still using mechanical fan, belt-driven fan. If you look at this picture, if you look at this one, fluid coupling assembly. Something for you guys to know. Toyota Tundra, it's a copy, or maybe not even a copy, probably identical, same thing. Charged air from turbo. It does not have front inner cooler like like usually cars used to have, like Ford has, F-150, or uh, Cummins has, or uh, Duramax has, you know, uh, inner cooler in front to cool charged air, to cool turbocharged air. What it does, it uses liquid, air to liquid inner cooler. So this is gets pumped, and then if you look inner cooling, it has a small radiator to cool off that liquid. No, this is not for the transmission. People think this is for transmission. No. In reality, if you look at the pictures, you can search online, and you can actually see, it says for turbo, inner cooler assembly. So it's not for uh, transmission. There is no trans there is no external transmission cool cooler. cooler. There is no tra external transmission cooler. So this is it. This is pretty much it wraps up. So five, six things that you want to know about Toyota Tundra. So, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video with others. And if you have questions, you know, drop me a comment, ask me. I will provide you the information that no one else has it. So, thank you and have an awesome day.